Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am working on some pin cards for my cute little pins. I've been continuing to work on them and I wanted to be able to card them up somehow so that I could put them on display for my farmer's markets and for my studio. I want to have a nice display, maybe in a basket. I haven't figured that part out yet, but I wanted to share with you what I am working on today, which is making these sweet little pins and I used some resin. So I have my supplies here. This is a more subtle one. If you want to use a white background, it really pops. So this is, these are my templates I worked on. They're just positive affirmations. I think they're great to share with people. You are magic, you are beautiful. We all need to hear that. And <laughs> so I have my supplies. I have, these are pins that are finished, but I am going to work on some new ones, a couple I will show you so that Maybe if you feel like doing it at home, you, you can do that as well. So I just have my little template. I did make it a little wider. You can see these are a little narrower. I made it a little wider. It's not as shifty. And the, so now my template is three inches long by one and a quarter inches wide. And I find I like it better, a better fit inside my little safety pin here. So I have some felt, I will be cutting that. And then I went ahead and I went to Etsy because Etsy's great for this kind of stuff. I do not have time to create artwork, nor is it my forte. So I have some little suns. I thought the suns would be nice since the eclipse is coming up. And I could even give these to some friends at my eclipse party that I'm going to. I found some little mushrooms, could not say no. And then I found these other little suns as well. And they pop, as I said, they pop a little more than the darker ones. But I like the subtlety of this. I really think that's really sweet. I have my fabrics that I embellished from before that we did in another video, which was very fun. This was cut into a strip from another project. I have a hole punch that I'm going to use to cut my circles. This is a one inch hole punch. And then I am going to glue these down and I will be using Aileen's. And then I, I am using some resin today and it is J, J Diction. And um, I find that this is a decent, uh, it's already mixed. And then I have a tiny little UV light that I will be using and putting them under. And it just takes a little time and then you have a cute little pin. So that's what I'm working on today. And then at the end, I will be cutting the cards. I did this um, in my Photoshop, but you could simply do it in any Excel. You could do it on a spreadsheet. It's very easy, just use that. And um, I did do, use some color gloss paper, but I also used just regular, this is just on regular copy paper. So either will work. I had both. So I'm going to use a little of both. And that's my project today. I'm going to get cleaned up and let's get started. My first step is to create my base layer. So I want to take my embellishing fibers and put them on my little piece of felt. So I'm going to cut those pieces into three by one and a quarter. I'm going to do three, three, and three since I have one card finished and then I have this one. So that'll give me a nice variety of sayings and pins. So I'm going to go ahead here and cut these and then add my embellishment on top. And then I will take them to the sewing machine and embroider them, do a little free motion embroidery to tack them down. And then I will come back.
I'm back from my sewing machine. I tacked down all of my little embellished fibers on top of my felt. I'm leaving room so that I can slip my felt fabric and fold it over and create my pin. I like doing it that way. I've been wearing them, I love them, so that seems to work well. And now I am going to pick my images. I am, I've decided to wait on the, I think the mushrooms will be nicer on a green of some sort, but maybe a dark green. So I think I'm gonna embellish another fiber for that and do that at a later date. But I love, I love these mushrooms. They're so sweet. And that will be for another project. So I am taking my images that I have here and here. And I'm just going to mess around with cutting these out with my hole punch. It's one inch hole punch. I love it. And I'm just going to mess around and see what I like on which ones. And I'm going to speed it up and we'll come back. My next step is to glue my images down onto my fibers. And I will say I'm going to do this with my Fabric Fusion. I'm setting aside my pin bases to dry. I want them thoroughly dry. I'm gonna give them about an hour at least. And I am going to work on my cards in the meantime. And I just made some marks. They're not gonna be perfect because it's not divisible by three perfectly. That's okay. Life is not perfect. I am going to use my um, little cutter here to do some cutting. And I'm simply going to just make my little cards here. They're just gonna be in a basket. I don't want to have to be a perfectionist on everything. I'm okay with just having them fun and cute. And they're as I said, not all going to be the same size, but that's okay. I love them. They're cute. They're just, everyone needs positive affirmations. I think we need it now more than ever. My next step is to do my UV resin. And I am using the hard type of J Diction and um, I've had no problems with it. I like using it. And it's lovely that resin is now, you don't have to do the two part anymore. I'm sure, you know, if you're a resin artist, you feel differently, but this is fine for me. And so I am going to use my little UV light here and it's very tiny. So I'm gonna just do one at a time but uh, I'm just gonna do other things while I do so. But so I'm just gonna do one or two with you here. I will speed it up. Um, I'll do one in real time and then I'll speed it up and we'll see how these come out. These are dry. They've been drying for about an hour. They probably could dry longer, but I am an impatient person 
and especially when it, I'm impatient when it comes to having fun with my making things. So I'm just simply going, you probably should use gloves. You might want to use a mask. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Um, so you're just going to take a little bit of the resin and go around. And if you're ever worried about, there we go. I'm not going to use a torch or anything because I don't want to hurt my fiber. And then I'll bring this close so you can see it's wet, the glare there. And then now I am going to take it and put it under my little UV light. And if I do a lot more of these, I will consider getting a bigger light. I probably could actually fit two under there. So maybe I'll go ahead and do that in twos. And uh, on this round, I'm not sure if it's 15 or 20 seconds, but I have done this three times and they are pretty cured. I will leave them sit for about a few days before I think about giving them as a gift or selling them just so that they're fully cured and they have you know, hardened, so it's a nice product. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another one here. I'll come up close and get my fiber out of the way. And I'm simply just going to, I squirt, I squirt a little bit, but th then you can push it. Resin's great because it seems to create its own leveling and stopping point. There's a little dot there. There's a little air bubble. I just took it out. And then I'm going to stick these both. Uh, so yeah, I can fit two. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this another time. So the one on the right is going for round two and the one on the left is on round one. And I'm going to continue to do these and finish them up. And then what I will be doing in my next step, I will be taking these to the sewing machine and I will be slipping this in. And I'm just going to take them to my sewing machine, fold them over, and I will just run that. You can use a zipper foot. My regular foot seems to work fine. So I will be doing that in my next step. And then I will come back with them all finished and we will look at the cards. I've got all my cards cut apart and now I am taking my little corner cutter is very handy. I think it gives it an, an extra nice look. And then I'm going to just make a mark here right below the wording. And I'm just going to make a little punch. And then I'm just going to take my pen and put it through. And if you just do it with a short little base right there, right? There we go. And then you're just gonna clip it. And it just gives you enough room to do so. And there you have a cute little carded up to give as a gift or to sell at a venue of your choice. It was really enjoyable making all these pins. I did pretty well. I did have uh, a boo-boo. I don't know exactly what happened. I'm guessing maybe it was the paper uh, or I did not let the glue dry fast and um, long enough. So, but that's okay. I feel like I ended up with a lot of nice ones. I, if you want to, you know, hide the stitch mark for some reason, like you can see the stitch mark on this one here, does not bother me. I love that. I think it's very sweet. 
But if you wanted to hide the stitch mark, you could just simply take a little, little piece and even cover it, you know, and give it a little shadow effect like that. I, the resin fell off of this one. So I just kind of added some and I covered the stitch mark on that one just to show you the different things as well. Oh, I love this one. I just added some more, but it's kind of peeking out, you know, so it doesn't have, it's not, it's kind of, let's see, I'm sorry. There we go. And it's just kind of peeking out. I think they're great gifts for, you know, graduations coming up, Mother's Day is coming up. And, you know, just, you know, just saying, you know, I appreciate you just, you know, giving this to a friend. And I just like to have little hostess gifts handy. And you could put that in a little small padded envelope and send it off. You could also, um, you know, these do come off of the pin if you, um, you know, slide them out. It takes a little bit of work. You know, they don't fall off. But if you'd like to, you could, you know, send this, uh, you know, an appendant. You could put a little, um, you know, cord through it and send it that way and skip the pin and then that way it will go in an envelope really nicely. So I, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing them with you. I'm going to find a cute little basket to put them all in and just continue to, you know, add to my, I mean, live, laugh, love. I mean, look at, I just love how they came out and I hope you did too. And please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would appreciate it. And also I would love it if you would subscribe and I want to keep doing all these videos for you. I have a lot of ideas. I'll be coming back and adding to my pin stash as I sell them at the farmer's market and at my studio and, you know, just continuing to elaborate on what I have going here. I have some other pin ideas I want to do too, different um, style. And I would really love it if you would join me on that. And until then, keep creating. Bye.